Age and so the short answer related concepts. Yes. Yes. So yes. Yes or no? Yes. Well, we were directed by the Board of Education months ago to enter in negotiations with the Labor Council yeah. towards the um, ratification of a project stabilization agreement. Now, the terms and elements of that agreement. I understand. We, we, we are all understand that. Right. Uh, and I guess I got two questions now. One, Mr. Pinson brings up a good point. Is project or is proposition has one project or are there multiple projects? For example, we've been told that there's like a hundred million dollars worth of projects that are already started and off on their way. I, I don't know. We have two hundred discrete projects in the in the but, in, in the whole but I think the question program. they're asking is the PSA would umbrella everything. It would umbrella the, the two point one billion dollars. There's 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 two terms that we use. What is the program? The total program value is two point one billion dollars plus other costs. Yeah. That's made up of two hundred projects. The program consists of two hundred discrete projects. Actually, just a minute. I need to withdraw my motion so that I can. Could you speak into the mic? Okay. Sorry. This is Jim Craig. I'm going to withdraw my motion for further discussion later. Okay. Thank you. Can I, can I get my next question? Yes, sir. My next question is, has the school board designated a negotiation team? Who is the negotiations team? Who are the team of schedule? I didn't hear you, Jim. Normally in these situations, part of the action where they direct negotiations, they designate the negotiators. Yes. Who are the negotiators? It's myself, Mr. Brisi, and Tom Kovacic from a uh, firm up in Los Angeles. So there's been a professional firm. Right, absolutely. And what is the name of that firm? Uh, it's Atkinson Andelson Lawyer Root and Romo. It's a law firm? Yes, the law firm. Okay. So those are the negotiators. Okay. Thank you. And Mr. Yeah. Chairman? Yes, sir. I mean, if we assume there is going to be an agreement, to me that's all the more reason that we need to make recommendations. <coughs> Not that it's going to overturn the, the PSA or PS. PLA, but I think we need to make it known what it means to the public. I I don't disagree with that. So you want to go for a motion? Uh, oh, yes, no. Before we go there, I would, why don't we just refer this to the committee, this whole issue back to the committee? Because of timing. Well, timing. I mean, look how much time the board has spent. No, no, timing of when the negotiation Negotiations is anticipated, Mr. President. But what we could do is we could we could inform the the Board of Education that we're studying it. Now, now that's more relevant, yeah. Because I, I just don't want to walk away with with nothing. Okay, I I like that. So if you can incorporate that, in. Mr. Mr. Johnson. Yes. Yes, we're, we're just on a negotiation. You, you can go back to the back and forth of the table 10 to 50 times. So it doesn't mean the first negotiation you're going to have to sign on the dotted line. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we should understand that negotiation takes, takes a while. And we, and we do understand that, but I also believe that if the ICOC, what I hear my colleagues saying is that, first of all, I hear my colleagues very clearly saying, they believe, the 10 people up here believe, that we do have some ownership as a independent ICOC committee to look into this because it really does affect the performance, the productivity, and the finances of this particular issue, which is different than what council was telling us initially that we really did not have a say so in this. So that, that's, that's number one. On, on that point, Mr. Chairman, that issue has already been put at the governance committee, so we don't have to further yeah. debate that. So that, that's, that's number one. Number, number two is the criticality seems to be in the timing of the PSA, and that's really why we want to refer it back to the subcommittee. What, um, why don't we refer to the subcommittee and inform the school board that we have referred that issue to the subcommittee? As a maker of the... Did you make a motion? It wasn't even okay. a motion. Well, we accept that from the amendment. Do you want me to reread re it? And I've added a few words. 
Okay, good. Okay, the motion is from Mr. Cantor. Right. I move that we inform the board that we intend, or we, we recommend conducting a full investigation of the potential effects of the PSA on the Prop S construction project costs prior to the school board proceeding with negotiations to adopt a PSA. Did anyone have any? But Mr. Chairman, I, I, I'm very uncomfortable with the word investigation. Uh, because it, it's it, okay. it has, it's too weighted. So, so, so help us with this. Evaluation. Evaluation. Okay. And how about um, uh, respectfully request the Board of Education to not take action until we submit our report? I mean, they—we've already heard that they're going to be advised by council that they can go ahead and do what they want and not have to, to listen to say us. Yes, please. Okay. I move that we inform the board that we would like to conduct. I don't like the word inform. That. Notify. <laughs> <laughs> notify. Okay. I recommend that we notify the board that the subcommittee will will evaluate the potential effect of a PSA on the Prop S construction project costs, and we re we. Would respectfully we would request. respectfully request that the school board not proceed, not adopt the PSA until then. Take no action. Wow. Take no action. Take, Take no action, action until yeah. the full report from the ICOC. And, and, and the only thing I would say is that it would be the full ICOC, not not the subcommittee. Okay. The subcommittee would okay. do the recommendation to the full ICOC, but Paula, please read it back. Sorry, Paula. Yeah. So we start again. This is pretty. Weird. Well, I think it's important that we. Oh, you had your recording. Okay. Yes. And, and, and one other thing is, that is he's forming this motion to be in. Cost is not. If you get the benefit, I don't really care about the cost. You know, and uh, it, it may be more costly to hire local people, but I. I want local people hired. Well, and, and that's what we're going to work on in the subcommittee. So okay. It's the right. cost, cost and benefits. Cost benefits straight off. We, we understand that. Okay. <laughs> One more time. Because I, I think, you know, the wording is important. You know, the way that it's framed back to the, uh, the war bed. You ready? I move that the ICOC notify notify the board. We're going to evaluate and notify the board of the potential effect of the PSA on the Prop S construction project cost, and respectfully ask the school board. To take no action. To take no action until the report is submitted. Until the report is submitted. Would you accept a friendly amendment, uh, cost and benefit together as a as a frame? Yes. Okay. Does it, everyone get that? Is everyone comfortable with that? Okay. Is there a second? I'll second. Okay. Motion is second. Leonard Nelson. Okay, all in favor indicate such. Aye. 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 All no's. No. No. Okay, three no's. Any abstentions? The ayes carry. We will take it back to the 